Arcade games are amazing. They are simplistic yet complicated, they are easy to get into yet incredibly hard to master, and some of them are just plain game design masterpieces. In this devlog series, I'm going to be creating my own virtual arcade. Within it, tons of different games, all with unique mechanics and their own visual style. This is devlog 1. I started off by making the actual arcade, using a top-down perspective and a pixel art style. And after a bit of work, we now have a nice looking background that we can place our arcade machines in. But because currently we haven't made any games that we can put on those machines yet, I created a couple of templates. And even though they don't look very good, at least they give us a good idea of the scale. So then it was time to start working on our first game, and after a lot of failed attempts to come up with good ideas, I settled on a Space Invaders type game. I created three simple sprites, one for the player, one for the the enemy and one for the ammo drop. After that I made a moving and shooting animation for the player sprite, implemented them into Unity and now we have a player. Next I started working on the enemy. I created a very simple moving animation, wrote some code to actually make it move and now we've got something that is starting to look like a game. Then I just made it so that the enemy can drop bombs on the player and now the gameplay is as good as finished. Then I did what any reasonable person would do in this situation, and added about 50 more enemies just to see what would happen. And the result was quite crazy, but also remarkably fun. Alright, so then I started working on some UI, because is an arcade game without a high score system really an arcade game? I don't think so. So now we have a functional score system. Every time you destroy an enemy, you get 100 points, and those points are then displayed in the top left corner. On the opposite side though, we have an ammo counter that currently doesn't do anything, and it's time to change that. I started off by creating the land animation for the ammo drop an object that gives you more ammo if you were to run out. After that, I programmed it to spawn if your ammo count hits zero. And now the gameplay is truly done. But that doesn't mean there isn't more work to do. It's time to clean up our game. The first thing I did was make a menu so that the player isn't immediately thrown into the game. It's very simplistic, but I do think that it looks quite good. After that, I made it so that if you complete a stage, you can get some extra points, based on how long it took you to complete it and how much of the original ammo you have left. I also created a smoother transition between stages, in the form of the player driving off and coming back in in the next scene. Then I just created a very simple effect for when an enemy dies, and I created a death scene for when the player dies. With that, the game is done, and it's time to start working on the art for the machine. This is going to be a lot of fun. I took the blue template that I made and started off by writing the name of the game on it, Alien Attack, which is just basically a different way of saying Space Invaders. After that clever way of avoiding copyright problems, I started working on the actual art for the machine. I drew an alien spaceship and a tank shooting it. Then I colored them in, making the spaceship blue and the tank green, and it was time to move on. Although I did go back to it later to correct some colors and stuff. Next up were the joystick and buttons. This was a bit tricky, but I think in the end it ended up looking quite good. Then I just quickly drew in a screen, made the text a bright yellow, filled in some details, and it was done. The first machine of our arcade is now completely finished. So I replaced all our templates with this machine and I gotta say, it looks so much better. So now it's time to add some details to our arcade and add the ability to go to a game by selecting the right machine. The first thing I did was add a very simple glare animation to our machines that plays roughly every 5 seconds. And I think it looks amazing. Next up I wrote a very simple select script which allows you to go through all the machines and select the one you want to play. But because this felt a bit too static, I also made an animation to go with it, which was very simple but it does add a lot. And that is it, the first devlog of this brand new 
game. I think it has a lot of potential and if you think so too, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one. Also feel free to let me know if you have any ideas for future games that I can make for this arcade. With that said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.